Hello, expand dog. How you doing, dude? You go to iDubs or Dark Side Phil? DSP. All Can right. I show you this one? This is makes me laugh so hard. All this right, is show me that one, and then I'll show you the one <laughs> where. <laughs> This? I, it, now this other one is months old, but I just I needed to comment on it at some point. Yeah, guys, this okay. So you know how DSP dresses up, wears glasses, bandanas for a certain amount of money, right? Well, this was his to right. It was his choice to do this for for money, right? For gold. <laughs> well, his mask slips off. Look at his reaction when he keeps losing at a fighting game. He blames I the glasses first of all. Yeah. He blames the bandana annoying him. Now watch this. What a waste of my fucking time. Fuck this fucking stupid fucking headband. Fuck these fucking dumb fucking glasses. Oh now no. I'm just fucking playing wimps. I had enough. I just had enough. Okay. Fucking these people suck shit. The fucking nonsense is so bad. It's so bad. Watch this. This is so funny. Fuck this no, Phil. Thing. They dress up like a fucking four-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> fucking playing dress. That's the greatest thing. Like a four year old like playing this. dress up. Well, buddy, maybe you wouldn't have to dress up like a four year old if you weren't on level one or level zero or whatever, buddy. Oh, like a fuck. Break, broke the fourth wall. Like, fucking thing. They dress up like a fucking four year old. <laughs> No, yeah, Phil. Like you're, you're the one who's gold. The reality hit him. It's like, bro, you know you could apply for a real job at any time, you know? That's so funny. Whoops. That's so, so fucking funny. Well, go, go to number one in this folder. Because oh, yeah. this was the clip where I was like, man, this is a bad one for Phil. Is it? This is a bad well, one. Well, let me tell you something, All right. brother. Start then we'll again. do iDubs sure. and then we'll do Dax. All right, cool. Oh. I know there are a lot of people looking forward for the Dax. Uh, sorry, it's at the yeah. end of the night, but it's going to be like long. It's going to be like long. it's going to be a very long. And after and... that, we're not going to want to do any other shit. Exactly. So, so yeah. Snort, snort. I got the drip. Yeah. Will I ever change the name of the podcast? Why would I change the name of the podcast, Drew? Uh, <laughs> he's mad. He's so mad right away. Why would I show? Why would I change the name of the podcast? I'm always going to be on level one. Wait. It's like, but it doesn't have to be this way, Phil. Like, you could ascend. Wait. You could ascend, Wait. bro. Blame it on the lag. He's going to blame it on the, the lag. lag. He's owning the meme, bro. I love He's it. Owning the meme. What's wrong with the level one podcast? Don't you like that name? I think it's a great name. By the way, tips $2. It's a shitty name. I know. He's at two bucks. How? How is that possible? Nobody gives this guy anything. Any money. Cog makes more, Clog makes more money. How? It's become synonymous with me and my content. It's a great catchy name. Everyone knows it. What's wrong with that name? I what hate it. it. The level one goes, podcast. No, but look at like Zoom in and, on this face, oh, dude. Man. It looks like he just smelled the nastiest shit, doesn't <laughs> it? He's like, Oh, like just it's just like look at that dude that's just a seething disgusting contempt he has for his own audience he goes everybody knows it what do you mean everybody knows it nobody knows who the fuck you are you're dark side phil you get like 200 viewers these days max like what are you talking and it's about all, it's all a everybody, too. everybody knows the name of the level one podcast oh fuck Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss. Why do I need to rebrand exactly? It's not working, oh, bro. Not You're at $2. Out, yeah. No, no, no. The answer is look at the tips. $2. The top tip is Mr. Crash Bandicoot for a buck fifty-five. <laughs> Which means somebody <laughs> actually donated a Four, meager 45 cents tip. That's why you someone should rebrand my leave. Someone gave 45 like, cents. What a piece of shit. No, he's got a cope sip uh, as he's just seizing you, like. How do you give 45 cents even? You know, Arlo Bubble gifted one sub, which is like more than double his entire <laughs> dono for the podcast. Uh, when will we be level two to 672? Why do we ever need to be level two? 
Is that not, wait, wait, what are people, Phil, is, why would he no, read? So he's, he's trying to argue that he doesn't need to be successful. Oh. That he doesn't need viewers or money. Okay, but you do like, if why you're would a podcaster. We, why would, but why would we want to get to level two? Why would he want money or viewers or success? That's just a toxic mentality that Keemstar tried to brainwash him in. That is true. Oh my. Not the point that I've been making all along. Yeah. There's different levels of success that you can have in life. Wait. And those people out there that have ins- Wait, wait, wait. No, seriously. So he, named, so he named his show based on his success? Listen, guys. That he's permanently stuck on level one and he's like a Sisyphus? Doomed to forever be pushing the boulder uphill and then it fall down the Falls other side. Like no. Insane amounts of views, insane amounts of popularity, insane amounts of money. They don't can you be want up that? there where they are. I don't care. I'm happy being down here normal. Wait, why? <laughs> this What's is the, the ultimate fuck? cope speech. I couldn't believe it. And this was a while ago. This has been sitting in the folder rotting for months, but it's still golden as fuck because it's just like. What do you mean you're okay with being on the bottom of life? You, what do you mean? We may as well go fucking live out in the sidewalk with a tin cup and shake it. <laughs> I'm happy with this. I guess if you're happy with it, sire, like you got two bucks. You got two bucks. The bomb on dollars. the side of the roads making more in a you fucking shift. Two fucking dollars, dude. Person on level one like you. I don't need to be some sky high fucking celebrity to be happy and successful in my life. Right now, I am. How happy. about making no. minimum wage? Listen, like. He doesn't, like, buddy, like, I don't have to be this sky high celebrity. Well, how about making a bit more than two bucks? Wait, wait but Ash, Ash, look, look, when we started our show, we were doing pretty good because of our names originally and stuff, but it's nice watching it grow. And we're working harder and da -da -da, all that stuff, right? Like, there is, you kind of want to see an increase in viewership. Unlike Dax Ferreira, we'll see in a bit here, uh, Dick Masterson, like a massive decrease. It's like, I get it, you're like happy in life, right? But he's two not. bucks, you're not happy. But he's not. Two dude. bucks, you're not happy, he's right? He's miserable. Every clip I ever see of him, he's just miserable. Yeah. And he's doing a business meeting of how he can make more money and scolding people for not giving him enough money. So, like, give me a break that he's happy being on the bottom and being on level one. He wants to be a big baller. But he can't be because he's a bum bitch, you know? So instead, he's got to cope and be like, no, I'm just happy with what I have. Yeah, okay. Why would I need to pass level one when level one is great? <laughs> Not everyone in life is obsessed with becoming viral or growing to be celebrity status or, you know, normal people don't need that. Yeah, normal people have jobs, though. I mean, normal people don't try and play video games for a living. I'm not <laughs> sure if you're aware of this. Like, look at his eyes, man. You can see the torment. You can see the pain. Look, this is not a happy guy. No. So I'm having a rip roaring time. Like, he's, he's not. At all. Normal people are happy to just exist and have some positivity and share that positivity with others and have true. a good life for themselves. People, I, I mean, I, that's true. But people aren't just happy to exist. <laughs> Otherwise, people wouldn't strive for wait, anything. Wait, they wait, wouldn't do anything. Happy. I mean, like, being like, alive is cool, yeah. The people maybe on welfare their whole life, like COG, maybe are happy to just exist. Positive. But most everybody else is striving to better their life. Is this a tr is this real a real cope? Ash, this is his cope. <laughs> is this real a real cope? Though? I don't need ginormous viral success. I don't want it. I never want. Listen, how about this? Before viral success, how about this? A hundred bucks. You know, like like how about? I need that how, money. How about a hundred dollars? From two to a hundred at least, you know? Well, he when used to on... make all this money. Like, the thing is, it's just cratered in support, like, bad. 
Now, somehow he still makes like 120 grand a year. I don't know. I don't know. know. Uh, really? Is it even true, guys? Does he really still find no. a way on the back end with the dents to make six figures a year? No, no, no. YouTube. That's wild. In 2008, it was a hobby, and I never think. Yes. Oh, his wife works. Oh, that's right. He sends his wife to work retail. Yeah. But it would never he blow plays up. video games. <laughs> Can you imagine doing it? Hey, honey, um, need you to go out and slave at Best Buy while I sit up here and fire up Street Fighter for eight hours. Isn't that what Clog have does, fun, though? Have fun at the shift. Yeah, that's what he does. He's also a broke bum, like cockroach. He's just of the English variety. When I started to become popular, I was like, all right, I'm happy where I am. I'm not going to change and sell out and become this fake person. And then she quits for him when do she you, gets home. Do, do you have Maybe to he really is a king. Like, does this guy have a nine inch penis or what? Yeah. Like, what's going he on? Fucks. How is he fucking fooled? I mean, how is he fooled this bitch? She goes and works retail, works slaving for minimum wage. And then weight. cleans and, and fucking. She comes home and cooks him a meal immediately when she gets off her shift. So you make $20? Like, what's going on? What's going on? Is what he mean? a king? In order to get the bag and make money and whatever. I'm just gonna be myself and be true to myself and oh see what happens. Boy. Well you can be true to yourself and still make money like though. Him. He sounds like a fucking um a children's special. You know, like a fucking yeah. cartoon. If we all just work hard and try our best and we're optimistic, then it'll all turn out in the end. But it's but not American pie, apple pie and ice cream. I'm not gonna sell out. Maybe you should. <laughs> <laughs> And now here we are, some almost 16 years later, and I am where I am, and I'm still able to do this for a living, and I'm still happy, and I have a great family, and I have a great hangout session you, with you guys every how day. Can you say uh, he has a great family. Someone like, said, you know, someone said, rename it to Level Zero Podcast. Oh man! In this chat, and I have no <laughs> problems with that whatsoever. So why do I need to be above level one, right? Remember, that's what Keemstar said. That's where the name came from. So and I'm it's forever so, stuck on wait, level one. It's, no, it's so rent free. Keemstar told him he was trapped on level one. So he just permanently let Keem live rent free and called his podcast level one. <laughs> level one. I like level one. A lot of people like level one. We don't all have to be no, big people maniacs. No, level ego, one is tutorial. Yeah, but like for Phil to call other people egomaniacs is like Phil. It's a tutorial. Phil. <laughs> Phil, stop it. Stop it, Phil. Trying to be <laughs> the absolute best person on earth. We're not all at cutthroat competition with each other. Some of us are just happy to be good people and share those. Wait, so anyone past level one is a bad person? Yeah, like anybody who's <laughs> successful is a piece of shit, right? Yeah. Listen, this is like a cog style cope. It, it really, really is. It really is. Eight positive experiences. At least I'm factually accurate. <laughs> others and just say, leave me alone. But that's what some people don't get who are egomaniacs. They just think, I've got to be the best. I've got to be the best, better than everyone. You know? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's there called striving to be better in your life, a better person. I mean, come on. You know? The natural drive to want to do better, to yeah. want to have more. And like. improve, you know what I mean? Yeah. What capitalism is all about, Phil. Have you never listened to Gordon Gecko and Wall Street? Right, this Greed is, is good. Greed propels the economy. Can we get some subs in here for fuck's let's sake? Let's go. Let's like go. You people don't even want to see me oh. a log, Phil. Come on, motherfucker. I need that money. That money. That money. Yeah. yeah. Did I unbox? Was I ever in the sports drinks like Powerade or Gatorade? Yeah, when I was younger, I did drink Gatorade. What? The, what kind of question <laughs> was that? Did you ever drink Gatorade? I am not. What, what kind of question is that? Shit. <laughs> you ever drink Gatorade or Powerade? What a fucking <laughs> shit question. <laughs> what a shit garbage question. And it was always like that lemon lime one was the one I drank the most. Okay. Um, Can you believe it? I, I realized I don't. Dancing Jelly has gifted five, five fucking subs. subs. We're showing Phil how it's done. We're showing Sheesh. him how to grip. Fuck yeah. Need them. I'm not an athletic person. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, that's because I'm not an athletic you don't, you person. You don't need to drink Gatorade do to be mean? athletic. You have to be an athletic person to drink Gatorade? Stop. People who are 
<clears throat> basically working out all the time. Sell for us for a sub. They need to replenish their electrolytes. If you're not working out all the time and sweating constantly, you have no need to drink Gatorade. You're putting all these things in what your body. What the fuck you, you Phil? Welcome to the biology <laughs> lesson with Phil. You don't need, and all that's going to happen is your body's Gatorade. You're Let's go. Putting all these things into your body you don't need, and all that's going to happen is your body's going to piss them right out. So it's just a complete waste. There's no reason to buy or drink Gatorade or Powerade unless you're basically an athlete. So that's why I stopped drinking it. What are a you, strange thing to are say. You, are, are you, you aware, Phil? There are some people who drink things for the taste of it, Phil? I'm not, like, I'm not an athlete, guys. Phil just gets real judgmental about Gatorade preference, you know? Yeah, he's such you a should, bastard, you should, you should accept that I just want to live my lifestyle of being a bum and never making anything of myself, just playing video games all day for less than minimum wage. But... If you don't drink Gatorade, <laughs> unless you're an athlete, you fucking drink Gatorade, you piece of shit. What are you, a child? Okay, Phil. <clears throat> he stopped drinking it because of the gout, so I can't have the shrimp either. What if I just want to be hydrated, <clears throat> Phil? You see, if Phil had just drank some tasty he Gatorade, yeah. he wouldn't be coughing. Do you notice how he's like swimming, though? Like, he's like fucking tapping his hands. Yeah. And he's looking at He's like seething at the chat. He's like pissed for some reason. I literally just explained that, Maximum Turbo. You didn't hear it? So, a year or two ago, Keemstar was insulting me publicly on his no. uh, Twitter account. And he has big no. rant video about me. Ooh, right. No. And in it, he said, that DSP will always be stuck on level one. You know, everyone else surpassed him. He's a loser because he's stuck on level one. Mm -hmm. Which I responded, what's wrong with level one? Everyone what a cool what? I, The mentality nice is just insane, you know? You know, that, that was like, I know I keep saying uh, Cog, but it's like when we were like, oh, Cog, you only have like 30 viewers. He goes, but they're all good people. They're all family men. Remember that? And we're yeah, like, they what? all have families. Like, does no like, one here have okay. a fucking family? Like, what are you talking about? Place to be. To have a small, dedicated following of people who like who I am and what I do. To be able to do my own thing and not have to abide by anyone else's rules or answer to anyone else because I don't have sponsors or partners or have to worry about, oh, I'll piss someone off and lose a big revenue stream or something like that, right? But that's fact, happened when you've pissed off whales in the past. Like, it's the same basic principle. But you could have multiple layers of support there, <laughs> Phil. Positive, inti intimate relationships with you guys every day. We can talk like this, right? If I were bigger, we wouldn't be able to do that. And the fact that I've been what? running for 16 years and I'm still able to make a living, right? But that's what I mean. Some people just don't understand that. They think, well, that's failure. That's failure? Why exactly is that failure? No one's saying it's failure. Explain. People are oh, saying, well, I mean, I it. am. I mean, it's just not success. <laughs> I just think the mindset is retarded. The mindset like, makes no sense. Like, I don't want to be there. It's better. a cult. Like, it's, but it's a lie. Like, he obviously does want to make more money. Otherwise, he wouldn't beg like a crackhead every stream. Imagine there was just one fucking millionaire who was like, fuck these guys and just tossed them a million one day. How mad would people be? Well, no, I mean, that's kind of happened in the past. Motherfuckers have just given him like tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And then he just spends it all on a fucking wrestling mobile game. <laughs> like, well, bro, you could have had your whole house paid off. Yeah, but I had to get that shiny Hulk Hogan card, dude. I need that money, man. <laughs> the only is... thing that gives him joy in life is pulling Hulk Hogan out of the pack. It's like, man. In the trends and did all the viral things, the thumbnails, the clickbait titles, the drama content and all of that, you mm. would have been much bigger. I, I don't care. I don't want to be bigger. Okay. I really ah. have no intention of being bigger. I, I, I like oh. where I am. I like who I am. I like that I never had to change to get ahead, and I never stepped on oh, people to get where oh, I am. Oh, no, so, he never stepped on basically, no one. Basically, I'm the anti-Keemstar, and I'm very happy with that. He's the anti-Keemstar? Like, he elevates Keemstar. Like, all these people elevate Keemstar to, like, this level of a celestial entity or a god. <laughs> it's like, buddy, like, Keemstar is not Jesus. 
<laughs> you know, Team Star is not a deity. And you don't have to. You don't have to define your entire life by your opposition to Team Star. Buddy, like, what? give it a grip. The man lives in Buffalo. Okay. <laughs> Like, 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 come on! He lives in, he lives oh, but in I mean, Buffalo. If you live in Buffalo, you can't. <laughs> but he's not a mansion. But it's in Buffalo, though. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, catch, you keep catching strays. <laughs> well, even he knows. It's like, fuck, I have this mansion, but it's, it's in Buffalo. It's in Buffalo. Like, what are you going to do? It's like saying you have a mansion in Detroit. Detroit, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that would be less sad. At least Detroit at some point was good. <laughs> That's where I got the name from. He he used it as an insult. I used it as a badge of honor. <laughs> you remember? This is sort of a shot I keep, but it's pretty funny. We went to Buffalo for me to take my MRA yeah. scan. And we, we turned off that first highway. I remember Ash <laughs> looks out the window and goes, Keem lives here? Keem <laughs> lives here? This place it's, sucks. It's, it's all these big. abandoned buildings. It's numbers. all these, like, boarded up fucking <laughs> factories and shit. And you're like, ooh, this isn't so nice, is it? Keem... <laughs> Remember us? We tried going to a restaurant, and then we went to like three, and just all that were closed down. Every like, single what restaurant fuck? closed. We finally ended up at a McDonald's where I think they served us a basket of fries. <laughs> like the fucking chicken nuggets are like a dollar for like fifty. I'm like, is it normal? What the fuck? Like the people there just live oh. in abject poverty. They <laughs> buy fries by the basket. <laughs> Do you remember the burger was just drenched in grease? Like you open the wrapper and like, it's just like going pours on? out. Like we're like, oh, we're like, get me out of Buffalo. The, like, it was almost on the level of West Memphis, but not like, quite. Not holy quite. Shit, it wasn't dude. quite West Memphis. By the way, quarter million dollar man, man is gifted, gifted five. five. Fuck it, um, Let's go. Let's go. But Keaton's area looks nice, you know? Like, we've seen pictures of his, like... State. The ad that always made me laugh. I'm sure you guys have seen this if you watched any football or sports, which means maybe you didn't see it because I doubt any of you do. Hmm. But the ad goes, you know, you better hurry because a cold night at the Buffalo Bills game is just going to be a cold night in Buffalo soon. And it's just like, <laughs> this like fat shirtless guy in the cold snow of Buffalo. And he's like, look, he's like, oh, God, my life's come to this. <laughs> like, it's so on point. It's like, oh, man. Yeah, the only thing they've got going for them is the Bills. And they've never even won a Super Bowl. <laughs> at least the Leafs won at some point. <laughs> 50 fucking years ago. The Bills have nothing. <gasps> Fuck. Or Buffalo tangent. <laughs> I'm happy to be at level one and still successful. Thank okay. you for telling me that. Now I will move probably display that every day when I start up my stream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cool Potato says, very few people are ever content in their lives, so ha I'm happy for you. Well, this is the thing like I've been saying. I, I, it's not possible for me to have a midlife crisis. No! <laughs> oh, man. What the fuck? Did you know, my buddy, I don't know what to tell you, but you better start believing in midlife crises because <laughs> you're in one, Phil. This whole stream that you're talking is a midlife crisis thing. It's like, what a game. Just, I'm not capable of having a midlife crisis. Because <laughs> he can't afford the motorcycle? Well, he, he's not Ricada rich. He can't afford his midlife crisis just yet. But mm. don't worry. He'll get there. It's literally not possible. I'm 42 years old. This would be what I would have <laughs> what? On my, my midlife crisis. <laughs> Yeah, it is the zoom in on him. That's the midlife crisis face, dude. Yeah, it's not possible. This would be about when I'd have one. Um, who wants to tell him? <laughs> Shall we tell him, Squidward? It's a bit sad. Right? Oh, I can't fuck. have one. 
My life today is better yeah. than it was when I was younger. When I was younger, oh, I was go. unhealthy. I was alcoholic. I was lonely and depressed. Uh, I didn't like who I was. I didn't know where my life was going. Right? Like, my younger self is the inferior version of myself. Today, I look better than I ever did before. I got sad. Whoa! Pause! Cool. Phil. Phil. Are we you can't really believe How that, hard are we you? coping today? <laughs> like the cope, like the cope. What does the scouter say about his cope level? It's over 9,000! <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Buddy, you look like you're in your 50s. He may not be an alcoholic, but he sure looks like one. Are you a coping son? Disgusting, like, but I you may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Bring it back. He's going to tell us hair? about his face. Bring it back. Oh, the Just for Men runs strong with this one. I didn't know where my, my life was going, right? Like, my younger self is the inferior version of myself. Today, I look better than I ever did before. I know that's sad because my face is disgusting, but I still actually look better. <laughs> wait, 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 And the self felt of the week wait, goes to... My face is disgusting. Dark side Phil. He says his face is disgusting. Than I ever did before. Ooh. Feel better than I ever did. I have a better. <laughs> That's the meanest oh. way to fucking describe yourself, oh, dude. I mean, like... He's on to something, but. <laughs> job than I have ever had. I have a great home life with my family. Like, you this is your the wife better version of me. <laughs> so. That's what I mean. Like, why? How could I have a midlife crisis? It's not even possible. I'm, I'm better now. <laughs> I would never want to go back to the days when I was younger. I don't like myself for when I was younger. When I was a dumbass troll in the Street Fighter community, I don't fucking like that. I don't ever want to go back to being like that. You know? You won a tournament back then. I know it was like fourth place, but you know. <laughs> Do I miss having infinite time to play video games? No. I'd much rather like having a balance. What? Your job is playing games. He literally is infinite time for games. <laughs> it's his job. What the fuck are you talking what about? Talking are you about? joking me? Stop. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Mastic? How you doing, bro? I like uh, uh, the fact that I have a life outside of being in this office playing games, and I have more interesting Wait, which things is? to do. Than like, you can actually chart his entire life on a spreadsheet. People have done this. Yeah. And all he does is play video games, go to the grocery store, mm. and play WWE Legends. What a king. That's it. It's better that's than all review tags, though, you have to admit. Well, yeah, but that's not saying anything. Yeah. <laughs> than just being here playing games all day. I like playing games. I like hanging out with you guys, but I need that separation. I need that mm. life and, and work separation. You understand? Without it, it would be too much of the same thing, Life and I would basically be like completely time. overdone with this too much, and I, I get tired. You know, I would get burnt out. I'm glad that I have that separation. Uh, Jade, yes, I already said, I already told you. I guess you missed it. I, I know you're not going to be around for a few days. Mm. I know you're getting your floors fixed or whatever. Okay, wait. This wait. is the very wait. definition of like parasocial. <laughs> yeah, I he know knows. you're getting your floors fixed. He knows that the dent is getting his floors fixed. No one should well, know that. It seems like a really fulfilling and oh. broad life that you have. It's a real rich life that you know <laughs> this random guy in chat will be away for a few days because he's getting his floor done. Ima By the way, what imagine. a bullshit excuse. Imagine allowing yourself getting your floor done to interrupt your consumption of the king's content. Like, off with his head. You don't kill him. He should have to fucking write an apology letter for missing those streams. It's it's pretty wild, though. Like, How's Phil going to go without support on those shows? Look, look, we all started somewhere with, like, 100 viewers or less, right? We all started somewhere. But to, like, be 16 years into your career on a, as a streamer, and you still know your individual, like, viewers getting their floors fixed... <laughs> That's kind of fucking insane, no? Am I wrong? No, it really is. The best, and I'll, I'll see when you come back. Like you said, probably like Friday, right? So cool. I'll see you then, man. Sorry. But that peasant the still hasn't get... even tipped. Like that obstinate peasant, that lowly Buddy, sir. It's too bad. Still hasn't even thrown Phil a tip. But he has... even though he's going to be missing shows till Friday, and he has money. He has money to fucking. <clears throat> 
to fucking to, fix his you floors? Know, the goal's not been hit, and yet this fucking surf thinks that he can get his floors done? <laughs> How about you pay the few goals, buddy? What the fuck is going on? You know? These people. And I hope that everything is working. The reason I say that is we have zero contributions. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's working was, because was, we got I really nothing. I hope everything's working. It, it, there's got to be something going wrong. There's zero it percent of it. It says I've made zero dollars in zero cents. But there he's fibbing. He made a whole he made buck two bucks. No, a buck 55 for Mr. Crash Bandicoot. It's a top tip. On the YouTube side today. Not a single super chat, not a single membership, not even a membership notification. 76 or goes, let's get three dollars <laughs> to felt Phil. Well, Arlo Bubble gifted one sub. Let's everybody gift <laughs> one sub. <laughs> Stab on Phil. He's really struggling. He needs that money. Let's show him, guys. Let's sub. one sub. So I hope that things are working, because like I said, YouTube was broken this morning. Oh yeah, I, I do oh. hope that everything's you know fine. Bullshit, bullshit. It's a rarity when nothing happens on the podcast. So that's why I'm a little <laughs> broken or something. I hope they didn't. Oh man, uh, I really hope they fucking didn't. <laughs> I saw this morning, like I said, I tried to open one of my videos in another browser, and an ad did play, and I was like, okay, so it must be working. <laughs> He goes, it's broken, but then he goes, I tried I tried it on a different browser, and then it, it was must, working. It must be working, Phil. It's not <laughs> He's like, it's, wait. It's just like, look at all these people. Like, what is Peter Littleton doing? Does this guy even work a job? Where's his support for Phil? Yeah. Tommy Baxter, where's your support for Phil? They don't fucking support shit. Oh, Dan, what about Dan Ooh, the man? Wait, I just want to point out. Yeah, fuck do you yeah. notice the difference between the way that we cover Phil and the way Review Tech covers Phil? Yeah, we laugh, we have fun. Do you notice like there's actually like energy behind we it. React like, we react to things. We we react to it, we talk about it. Like there's a big difference. Like if you are gonna do Phil, which we don't do Phil very often no. because he really is a king. If it is life. funny, we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's finish. Thank this you off. guys. Thank you. We have a long show still. Have a lot. I have coffee oh, yeah. brewing. I have coffee brewing right talk now. About this morning. I still got five got your, more Red Bull. Nice. I got a full pot ready. This is going to be the night that PPP's heart explodes on yeah, the screen. Yeah, folks. Can we get some more subs? I'm give you everything I can. <laughs> I look how we can just get all these subs. We're going to need some uh, how more. How about some more? I feel Why bad. Not? There were some people going to watch our show specifically for the Dax Herrera stuff. It'll be worth it when it's on the Clip Channel. We promise oh, you. Oh, yeah. yeah. For 400 people, but you guys are kind of quiet. Today. But we're taking a few... <laughs> what is, there's over 400 people here, but you're kind of quiet today. 400? Not this morning. You guys remember it's weird we have over 400 screen, people, Phil. but you guys are kind of quiet today. Well, you banned right, everyone. So uh, thank you, Archduke. Usually on a stream like today, we have a lot of people talking, and today it's, it's like really slow. Well, maybe if they weren't all mods. <laughs>